Sure. So this is we're gonna we're gonna give this puppy. He is six weeks old. His parvo distemper and influenza shot, and so you can come. I buy these by the trays. So you want to make sure if you're if you are buying by the tray that your shot is not expired. Yes, it has happened before. And so this one is the actual vaccination. And this is nothing but saline, sterile saline. So we don't want it to be sterile to go in the puppy. So, <clears throat> thank you for helping. This puppy is just a sweet little master puppy. I said, this looks like we're going to do a diapering. How to diaper your baby. This looks like we're going to do a how to diaper your baby video. No. Okay, <laughs> sit up here, sweetie. Bye. Um. There's all kinds of needles that you can purchase. I purchase them 500 at a time. The higher the number, the smaller the needle. So you think about an insulin needle is probably a 26 even. So if you think about an 18 gauge needle, it's what they use for cattle. But the problem with using an 18 gauge needle, even on a cow, it makes such a large hole, the medicine can come back out the hole. So make sure you're not using some horribly awful big needle they won't go in your dog, right? This is a 25, which I definitely prefer to give the puppies, because then they don't even feel it. <clears throat> so there's just all different kinds of needles. You can see that's a not an inch, that's a three quarter of an inch needle. So we're going to take the saline, the sterile saline. So the stiller you hold the camera, the better this video is gonna be. So see how that's just is pushing the saline into my this liquid. This is nothing but sterile saline. You could rinse your eyes with it. This is a powder. This is a dry powder. Now these cannot freeze or you have killed them. They can't freeze, but they are to stay cold. They're it's not like if they got warm, they're immediately not effective. It's think about a piece of fruit getting ripe, okay? <clears throat> so I didn't get in the middle of that. So here's another thing, the more you push your needle through here, you're getting your needle dull. Just like if you're shaving your legs, ladies, you don't want to shave with a dull needle. You are biting on me. So you just shake it up. And then I like to put a little air in here. Now, every time you pull that needle out and you put that needle back in there, you dulled your needle. But that's okay because I'll do a whole litter at a time and I will use the same needle to pull my medicine out and then I'll use a sharp needle to put the medicine in my dog. So, although I think I've outsmarted myself and let me do this. I've got, I've been getting shots. I'm gonna switch to this, I'm gonna switch. Well, great, switch to this needle. There you go. And I'm gonna, so much for that. Now, once I get a needle dirty like that, I will not use it. So, this is a brand new needle, and you can actually get them like that. It just pops them out. You're not going to bend your needle because it's got a nice plastic sheath on it. Another thing I do, make sure you twist that on. I have been giving shots, and I popped this whole thing off, this thing off, and yeah, I've had a $15 shot end up on the floor. So this is gonna dull, dull this a little bit, but I'm still gonna do this. So I'm gonna push air up in it, and pushing that air up in it, you can see even without me hanging on to it, is the air is pushing the medicine into my syringe. See, I'm not even pulling. Make sure you get all of this out. Okay, he's already scratching because we put a new collar on him. Now get the air out. Make sure you get the air out. And now, so this is pretty easy. Most puppies have lots of skin, lots and lots and lots of skin right here. And you're just gonna make a tent. So you're gonna make a tent. Now the one thing, be careful, don't go all the way through both layers or your medicine will just end up on your puppy. And this is a little easier when your puppy's not trying to bite you and you have someone holding your puppy. Now, just that going through that one time made that needle duller than it typically is after doing two or three puppies. So, it's very simple. Oh, wrong sheath. Um, I'll show you a trick. You see no medicine came back out. 
um, and he didn't cry, it didn't hurt him. Make sure that you're only giving it under the skin. Do not get into the muscle. There is no medicine that you give a dog, maybe then oxytocin for a lactating female, that you would give in the muscle. This is always under the skin. So let me show you something else, come close. So I'm gonna loosen that. So if you don't, I have a needle thing that I dispense my needles. I wanted to show you a trick. You can take that off, put that in there with a the needle, put that in there, and then you'll never poke your uh, trash man because we love our trash man because they help us so so that cannot come out of there I mean it's not just gonna come out of there and poke somebody hi hi babies hi baby cuz so did you get your shot baby did you get your shot he did he's gonna out in yes I did I got my shot did you get your shot alrighty